In this video, I'm going to do my best to guide you through where to find all of the bugs so you can complete your museum. So to start off with, in total in the game, there are 41 bugs that you can catch with your bug net. So I've tried my best to try and organize them in the best way possible. Obviously, there are some bugs that can be caught in multiple biomes. But for the purpose of this guide, I've separated them into biomes that are most commonly going to appear just to make things a little bit easier for yourself. Now I've also organized them into day and night. So each section on the left is day, on the right is night time, and up here in the middle is both day and night. Another thing to note as well is that certain bugs can only be caught in certain seasons. So I'll run through them as well. So first of all, we're gonna start with the bugs that can be caught anywhere. Now the bonus with the bugs that can be caught anywhere is that they can also be caught in any season as well. So these are the most common and the easiest ones to catch. So as you can see on screen, I've put part of my spreadsheet up. I will be leaving the link down in the description below. But as you can see here at the end, we have the stink bug. You can find the stink bug in any biome at any time during the day or night, morning or evenings. But you can only find this one in autumn. And on the left hand side here, you have the ones that you can find in the daytime. These can also be found in any season as well. So these ones are relatively easy to catch. And we've got the Scarlet Jazabel Butterfly, the Blue Moon Butterfly, the Fly, the Harley Quinn Butterfly, and we have the Largy Day. So over here on the right hand side, we have all the ones that we can find at night time. These can also be found during any season of the year, except for this one at the end, which is the Hercules Moth. That can only be found in winter and spring. But for the rest of them, we have the Black Cricket, the Bogong Moth, the centipede, the cockroach, and the firefly. Now next we're going to cover the ones that can be found in the bushland biome. So first of all we have the funnel web spider, which can be found in the bushlands during summer and spring, and can be found either during the day or at night as well. The rest of them that can be found in the bushlands can all be found during the day. The Ulysses's butterfly, the rhinoceros beetle, the monarch butterfly, and the peacock spider. Now the butterfly can only be found in autumn and winter. The beetle can only be found in summer and spring. The monarch butterfly can be found all year round. And the peacock spider can only be found in spring as well. So that covers the bushlands. So now we're gonna cover the desert biome. Desert biome is probably gonna be the most difficult to try and complete. So first of all, we have the desert scorpion, which can be found anytime during the day or night, morning or evening, and can be solely found during autumn or winter. Next, we have the red black spider, which can be found day or night, and that can be found in summer, autumn or spring. Next, we have the huntsman spider, which can be found day or night in autumn and winter. And the only bug that we can find solely during the day is the pygmy fly, which can be found, as I said, during the day, but can be found in any season of the year. So that one should be relatively easy to find just roaming around your island. And on the right hand side here, the only one that can be found solely during the night is the trogid, and that can be found in autumn and spring. Now the next biome we're going to cover is the pine forest. Now just a quick reminder, even though I'm saying that they can be found in the pine forest, the same as the others, they can be found in other biomes. Just check my spreadsheet for that, but I'm just telling you the most common area that I have managed to find them. So all of the ones in the pine forest can either be found during the day or early morning. Most of them can be found in summer and spring, except for the common blue tail and dusk hawker dragonfly. These will be able to find in autumn, winter and spring. So apart from the two dragonflies, we have the bee, the lacewing, the ladybird, the queen bee, and then we've got our two dragonflies. So that's the pine forest covered. And next we're going to go through the plains biome. Now we've only got five bugs that could be found in the plains biome three that can be found during the day and we have two that can be found during the night so we'll cover the ones that are found during the night which is the cricket and the tiger moth and the cricket can be found all year round and the tiger moth can be found solely in autumn and winter so it's during the day in the plains we can find the meadow katie did which can be found in autumn and spring we can find the emerald dragonfly which can be found solely during the day in summer and autumn. Next, we have the paper wasp, can be only found in autumn. And then next, before the little guy on his own, we are going to cover the tropics. Now, all the bugs that can be found in the tropics can be found during the day. We have the nice swallowtail butterfly, which can be found in summer and autumn. 
We've got the Birdwing Butterfly, which can be found solely in autumn during the morning. We have the Stag Beetle, which can be found solely in spring. We have the Fiddler Beetle, which can be found in autumn and winter. We have the Goliath Stick, which can be found solely during the morning and in winter. And then the Emperor Dragonfly and the Grasshopper can be found solely in spring during the day. Now this one over here, which is the Glowbug, this one is special on its own and this one can be only found during the deep mines. This can be found all year round at any time, whether it's night or day, but can only be found in the deep mines. So there we are everyone, that's all 41 bugs. As I said, I have been leaving screenshots of my spreadsheet on the screen as I've been talking through them, but I will leave the link down in the description for my spreadsheet. I was going to cover fish in this video as well, but I understand that there's a lot of information to take in here, so I will do a separate video regarding the fish, as the fish are a bit more complicated to distinguish where you can get them from than the bugs. But hopefully you've liked this video and you found it helpful. Oh, just a side note actually, what I do recommend you doing if you are hunting for the bugs to try and complete your museum is get the bug book. And when you have the bug book in your inventory and you just left click and hold it down, it will show you what ones you have collected and what you haven't. Now, as you can see here, this one on the very end, I haven't caught myself as of yet. And you're probably thinking, well, how did I get all these bugs? Well, for the purpose of this guide, I did use the dev menu and I did quite a lot of research to find out where the best place to get all the bugs from. But this gives you a perfect example of if you've got the bug book, the ones that you have caught, it will show you the name of that bug. The ones that you haven't caught, it will come up with question marks so you don't know the price or the name, which is perfect if you're just going around hunting for bugs. Because you can just go around holding the book out and as you come across some bugs, so as you see here, black cricket, it's just jumped in the water. Let's see, cockroach here. So you can't actually see this one, it's quite hidden. So it's always handy to have this bug book. You can just run around and you can see what ones you've collected and what you haven't. So hopefully you found that video very helpful and interesting. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you let me know down in the comments down below if this has helped you a lot. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more content. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.